Hey guys, so let's discuss the second part of the video that I recorded last time and uh, today we will discuss about how to basically get a lifetime Google hosting plus AdSense approval because last time uh, I told you that you can get an AdSense approval on Google sites but it is not actually accurate because I contacted Google support and they told me that the way, only way to get AdSense approval on a free hosting is on blogger so let's start with blogger what is blogger i think most of you have already heard about blogger it's pretty popular so this is my this is the demo site i have created on blogger now the thing is that you have to go to settings and go to custom domain to connect your custom domain with it here you can let me just put any random domain here so i can show you how to connect whatever domain you already have you have to purchase a domain before connecting here or you can buy a domain from here you click on save this this message will be shown and the message says we have not been able to verify your authority to this domain on your domain register a website locate your domain dns settings and enter the following c names so dns settings and c name it's pretty simple to do these things and uh, if you can there's here's the page and i have opened the page already so here's a step by step tutorial given by google for connecting your custom domain to your blog and on blogger you can easily get an adsense approval if you are getting decent amount of traffic you can create your post from this and just here when you click on new post you can create a new post the best part about blogger is it's highly customizable they have some default themes if you want to get a default theme and it's free of cost so the best part is you don't need any any kind of extra extra funds to create a blogger account or create blog blog post here or anything like that you don't have to need you don't have to get any kind of extra funds okay so let's go to this website this is a website for basically customized blogger themes where you can get theme for an e-commerce store or anything so let me just show you how to install a theme so i'm going to install a theme for an e-commerce store so this is a blogger theme for a very pretty good looking e-commerce store so let's just see i'm going to download this so once you download this when you click on it it will open so this is how the page will look. You have to just extract it. This is how your uh, zip file will look. And we will extract it. So it's extracting process. Okay, so let's go. When you go here, here, this is the page. We are going to put here. Backup. Not, no, not backup. Backup is for downloading your blog. If you already have some posts or anything, you can download it from here. You have to click on restore. It will ask for uploading a file. Once you go here, we will go this. This is the folder where we, which we extracted. And we will click on an XML document and we will open it. It is restoring the theme. Restoring means basically installing a custom theme here and it's restoring so up till then once it will be restored we will connect it the best part of a blogger is it is also google service so google will not have any issues to give you a guys approval if you are getting good traffic and people got bloggers blogs running for years so you will not have any issues regarding takedowns or anything like that unless you are not doing anything against google policies which is i don't necessarily recommend hold on wait is it, it a spam mode system and uh, let's just see okay view blog let's open the blog let's see how it's looking look at this so this is our blog and because we have got no products or anything it's showing like this but it is an e-commerce store now right so a blogger is now in e-commerce and look how it's already have some graphics and a stuff running and it's interactive and it is hold on second let me show you so it is customizable and it is responsive in nature so you don't have to worry about people having any kind of discomfort using it on your phone 
on their phone and uh, now once we are done with this you can customize from here you can go into settings and you can you can connect as i already told you you can connect a custom domain from here to connect adsense you click on earning here you can connect your adsense here you can see your stats here from here you can see your comments and i've created a new one when you have some content here you can basically see who have kind of commented on your content and uh, what else do we have yeah one more thing when you come here you click on customize you can customize everything the alignment everything the menus so as you can see gadgets uh, mean background colors watercolor gadgets everything you can create you can customize everything here you can uh, if you know a little bit of html or anything you can actually do it from here you can edit your layout too it is for the menu purposes as you can see so for menu purposes you can create these you, you can basically create any menu you can edit any menu so there are a lot of features and uh, that's how you basically get all the and you all you have to do is search blogger template on google if you have any issue because there are so many websites so if you don't want to go, go for a specific website you can search just blogger template and you will get all the free websites on the top to basically get free google blogger themes and that's all there is to it for blogger and for adsense approval blogger is the only way don't google sites don't get adsense approval because they are not content rich as blogger in in the policy of google so it is necessary and that's all there is to it that's all there is to it stand domain and themes we have discussed about the themes you can you can use bloggers for adsense approval content rich site create a content rich site always for blogger you can make a tools website on blogger too tools website are basically seo tools or downloader tools don't use downloader tools because downloader tools are not appreciated by google but other ones you can create some tools website i will share those types of content in the next part because uh, that will be a video on its own so that's all there is to it for today and uh, thank you very much thanks for watching